Hi, my name's Nicola. I'm going to show you how to do these beautiful ruffles with the use of the easiest rose ever cut up by FMM. I'm going to show you two ways to create these ruffles going up and cascading down like this pink design. The most important thing to remember is to always use modelling paste to create these ruffles. Never use sugar paste as it will not hold its shape. First thing to do is to dust your surface. Make sure your paste is nice and soft. We're going to roll it into a sausage so that we can actually use this cutter to create these frills. We need to roll the paste out to about one to two millimetres thick. A bit more. There we have it. In order to get a nice clean finish around the edge, I'd recommend using petal based. If you don't have petal based, just use some white vegetable fat. And the idea is just to put round the edges of your cutter. It stops the paste from drying out. There we go. I'm going to press firmly to cut out our shape, wiggle it around, peel it away. Do another one. And I'm going to use a, use a knife or you can use a palette knife and it cuts straight through the centre to create your individual pieces. Now I'm going to show you actually how to create these lovely curves with the use of a, the edge of a six inch rolling pin. Right, to make sure it's stick, just lightly dust over the surface. And now I'm going to show you how to sweep round. You're going to curve just like that. And again. If you want it to frill a little bit more, you can use a smaller edge rolling pin. As you can see, it just frills it up a little bit more. Next thing you want to do is to straighten out this line so it's smooth when it gets attached to the cake. I'm going to do each of these so it gives it time just to set a little bit before we attach it to the cake. Remember not to push too hard otherwise you can tear the paste. And again, okay. I'm going to show you the frills going down. So the first thing I need to do is to use my sugar glue and paint just above the surface the line. As you can see I've already have several ready made and I've layered and linked between sections and I'll show you how to do that as I go along. Make sure you have enough glue so that the actual frill can be attached. 
Right, so my first one I'm going to do is going to place here. Just going like so. You might have to flick up now and then, just so that you can lift the frills. And as it slowly sets, you can keep lifting them up. I'm going to add another few ruffles. So I'll we'll place some glue again here. What you need to do is place that onto here so it joins along in line with the previous one I attached. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And as you can see where I've joined it here, the actual ruffle just overlays on top of the previous one. Once again, try and flick. Sometimes just pulling this petal up just gives you a bit more shape. So now we want to flick these other ones up again. I'm going to attach to this side as well. So remember when you're actually doing a whole cake, you actually need to start from the bottom all the way around and gradually work your way up. Here we go again, just slightly overlap the previous frill, wrap it around like so, press firmly, using your brush or your finger, flick to create those lovely ruffles. If you find for any reason they're not holding their shape quite long enough. Handy tip is to use a bit of kitchen towel. So I tend to just rip a little piece up and then tuck just underneath the petal. And as you can see, it holds up the shape. add another layer of ruffles. And when you're attaching your ruffles by each layer, remember to try and slightly offset the actual individual curves to make it look more natural. Now I'm going to show you how to do ruffles going up the cake, starting from the top and working your way down, just the same as this design here. I've already made my ruffles the same way I showed you earlier. I paint a bit of glue just under the line. You know, press down firmly. If you need a bit more glue, just put some on there. Okay. 
going to attach another piece here. this here. Remember to overlap when you're doing your joins between them. And just flick down slightly as shown above here. Remember when you're doing a whole cake that you must start with one layer going all the way around and then work your way down. Put one more layer. Again. Press down that line, flick down, There we are, got some ruffles going up. Continue that all the way down to the base. Once you've finished that process, you can add a ribbon, just like this design here and here at the top if you're for, the, for the other design. Or you can pipe it, or you can add flowers, you can add any kind of detail to it. But there you have it, there's two ways of ruffles here. Everything on these cakes were made using these amazing cutters. Check out our video on how to make the easiest rose ever.